All right, fellas, man, what's good? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with TC, man. You're now rocking with one of the greatest YouTubers to ever do it. You know what I'm saying? We're about to react to this video today of uh, single moms, you know, bashing men, telling men, you know, that you're not even on the level to be rocking with a single mom. You broke. That's why you can't rock with us. But, you know, I don't like to waste no time. Like I said, man, if you're a new subscriber or if you're new to the channel and you feel like you can learn something from me, please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. You know what I'm saying? But we're about to get right into it. Let's go. Let's rock out. I not imagine anything because you're not even on a caliber to date a single mother. You, 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 you. You, you ever hear a guy saying like, oh, you have a child or, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. We don't have the means to take care of your child because they're broke by. Hey, we're going to watch the video through the first time and then I'm going to watch it again and then I'm going to give my commentary. Then we don't want those men anyway. The real true high value men are going to be seeking or not avoiding someone because they're a mother. You need to have a man pay for the babysitter if he wants to take you out. Ladies, set the standard high. Set the standard high, especially since you're a mom, because it's not just about you anymore. It's about you and your kids. I find it really stupid when I see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high. But wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman period would want the best for her children and want the best around her children? So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high, I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. All right, now we about to um, run it back. and I'm going to give my commentary. Hey, man, come on, bro. We didn't ask for this, G. What the fuck? Yeah, party next door. Thing. Thank you for calling Toronto City Credit Union. Bro, come on, party. We ain't asked you for that. I didn't imagine anything because you're not even on a caliber to date a single mother. What caliber do we have to be at to date you, my love? And mind you, it's a lot of us who came from single parent household, single mom. So we're not here to bash them, but <gasps> mind you, I didn't come from a single parent household. I had my mom and my dad. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with having your mom and your dad, first of all, for all you hood niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with having a mom and a dad, bro. Um, Back to the video, man. You, 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 you ever hear a guy saying like, oh, you have a child or, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. We don't have the means to take care of your child because they're broke by. Do you have the means to take care of your child? Because why are they putting it on men? Like they probably don't have the means. Shutter, do you have the means? You're the one with the kid. The average modern man is not worthy enough to date a single mom. You must have your stuff together in order to qualify to raise another man's child. What the fuck? Bro, did I just read that right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The average modern man is man. The average modern man is not worthy enough to date a single mom. How are you not worth? That's almost like saying. <laughs> that's almost just like saying the average Chick-fil-A worker is not worthy enough to work at McDonald's. Are you fucking serious? You know what I'm saying? My metaphors is not, you know what I'm saying? So relax, my nigga. Relax. But, all right, the average modern man is not worthy enough to date a single mom. How do y'all feel about that, bro? I feel like that's some bullshit. That's crazy because you shouldn't have to qualify to raise another man's child. And I feel like this is the only time that men actually are holding women accountable in one area. And they're complaining. And we don't want those men anyway. The real true high value men are going to be seeking. Now y'all determine what makes a high value man and what makes a low value man. What value man gave you a baby? A real high value man is going to stay there and take care of his kids. So what type of decisions were you making? Why do I? Why do you expect a real high value man to play cleanup for bad decisions that you made? You want to know why? Because women always have an out for bad decisions. Nigga, they want to fuck five niggas in one night, get nutted in. They got birth control. Nigga, they got the shot in the arm, the shot in the ass, shot in the pussy. God damn it. Shot, shot at the bar. You know what I'm saying? They want to leave their marriage. They got alimony, child support. They want to be, they want to say, fuck it, I don't want to pay bills no more. They got Section 8. 
them programs are made for women. So now that it's men holding women accountable in one area, imagine if we was holding their ass accountable in every faucet of life. They talking about, and they saying, it, let's continue. Or not avoiding someone because they're a mother. You need to have a man pay for the babysitter if he wants to take you out. Absolutely the fuck not. Pay for the babysitter? Are you fucking dumb? And I've been in this situation, like, I've, I wouldn't say dated, but I've slept with single moms. Never have they ever came at me with no bullshit like that. Pay for the babysitter? Rarely do we ever have conversations about, they talking about what's a good mom. In my eyes, a good mom is somebody who can sue out a man that's just trying to fuck and a man that's trying to date because single moms do like to fuck for recreation. This is 100% true. So rather than you have a, a you a, if a guy's taking you out on a date, right? And if you're a woman watching this, you're single mom. If a guy's taking you out on a date, why would he pay for your babysitter? Why would you even be mentioning your kids to him if he's not somebody who you know is going to be long term? Y'all need to court better. Y'all need to use y'all big heads. Yeah, y'all got little heads too. The little shit you be fucking doing the disco on. Running the turntables. Ladies, set the standard high. Set the standard high, especially since you're a mom. Because it's not just about you anymore. It's about you. Exactly. It's not just about you. It's about your kids. So rather than all of these moms focusing on dating, you need to just focus on your kid. Because obviously your decision-making skills were horrible. And I, yeah, I get it. Sometimes it could just be not the right one, but you can't expect somebody to. Matter of fact, how much does your child's father make? Because if you ex honestly, on a serious note, if we were in a debating forum right now, we could literally just be like, OK, if you're expecting this from a man who don't even know your fucking kids, nobody even know what John John ugly ass. So what what is his father providing? Why can't his father, I'm sure you get child support. This shows you what women use child support for. If you get child support, why can't you set aside some extra money that you know you're going to be trying to go on dates? You know you're going to be trying to get that disco ball flicked. Why can't you set aside some child support money and make sure you got some money for other stuff? Because y'all suck. You and your kids. I find it really stupid when I see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high. But wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman, period, would want the best for her children? And A good mom would actually revert them all the way back because they like to say, I'm telling you, everything in society that women say or that people say about men, like men's brains don't fully develop until 25. Bro, look at all of these dumb ass women. No pun intended. If the shoe fit, look at all these dumb ass women, bro. Like. From thinking the grass greener to divorcing their husband to just how they acting in in public right now. Whose brain doesn't develop? Because it's more, although in society, it's more women with their stuff together than men. Bro, at the end of the day, that does not count for a vast majority of men in a collective that have their things together, have everything together. And why would we settle for less? Women love to talk about settling for less. And they take settling for less as a nigga taking them to Cheesecake Factory. So as a logical thinking man, why would a logical thinking man with no kids with all his stuff together like you're requiring settle for less and pay for a kid that's not even his or even have to endure the what comes with a woman with a kid, like you have to make sure that you are ready to teach this kid, you know what I'm saying, experience life with this kid and treat it as your own. So that's settling for less. Men are the biggest settlers in this society. And I hope when you're watching my page, you can get an understanding of how you're being gaslit in society. Because if you are not settling, then. OK. If you really break it down to what settling is, see, women only justify settling as the best looking man that they can get. So if you if you don't feel like if you're not making her feel like she's reached her peak in her sexual market value of what she can pull, she's going to feel like she's settling. They and these are the women who they say my brain, our brains mature faster than men. But look, if women were smart, like when I have daughters, 
right? I'm going to tell them to, you instead of trying to look for the best looking man, you need to be trying to look for the man who's going to take care of your black ass. You need to be trying to look for the man who's going to, uh, because every man going to cheat, right? But you need to try to look for the man who's not going to cheat as much as your daddy did. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't going to say that, but you really need to be looking for the man who's not going, who's going to treat you right and take care of you in the future. As a man, if you have your stuff together, it's easier for you to just say, hey, I just want a woman who has a pretty face. Am I right or am I wrong? Who's settling? Because like I say, as a man, you paying rent. They, they don't even want you to go 50-50 these days. So you paying everything and all the woman has to do is look pretty. As the woman, you're looking for a man who can provide all this, plus you're trying to bring a kid to the table. So who's really settling? Because what's easier, whoever was known as settling, what should be known as settling is what's easier replaceable. Whatever is easier replaceable should be the person who is saying, I'm settling. So if you're a man in a relationship and you know that your woman is pretty and you know that you could pull another pretty woman, especially if your woman got a bird brain, she's not following your plan. You know she got a bird brain, then you're settling because you can easily replace her. If you are a woman in a relationship and your man has all his stuff together, but you just feel like you could go get a better looking man who don't have his shit together. You're not settling, baby. You're right where you need to be. Because that other man who you think look better doesn't have a future planned out for you. Doesn't have a uh, doesn't have anything going for himself rather than you think he looks good. So. Remember that I said this, who the person settling in the relationship is the one who is easiest replaceable. And for a woman, only way that you will be settling is if your man cannot provide for you, if your man cannot take care of you. And as a man, the only way you can really settle if you have your stuff together is if you feel like you, if your woman is easily replaceable, whatever is easiest replaceable, you cannot replace a successful man. You can easily replace a pretty face and a pussy. And some titties and some ass. That's just the facts of life. And we've let these women take it this far to where they get to talking on social media and they think, oh, no, 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 no. Until somebody got to knock them back down to reality. Not knock them back down because have your confidence, baby girl. I love confidence in a woman. But you need sometimes women need to live in reality. Settling is what's easiest replaceable. And most times as a woman, you're easiest replaceable because as you know, women, you guys are very insecure. It's hella beautiful women. They're bashing modern men right now because guess what? It's not a lot of successful men that can take care of a woman and some kids. So look, put that on your pipe and smoke it. I hope you learned something. Want the best around her children? So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high. I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. Adios, bitch. Adios, bitch. <laughs> hey, man, that's the end of this vid, man. I hope y'all uh, like the, the commentary. We're going to go ahead and rock out like that, man. Look, like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know my next video drop. And we're going to be out of here, man. You feel me? It's, it's, it's 1 o'clock in the morning over here, so I'm about to head to sleep, man. Y'all boys be cool, man. We out. Troll. Whoa, whoa.